Ähm ja, kann ich auch wieder aufstehen? Hallo? Hm. Ich möchte doch nur aufstehen. Hallo? Hat der mich jetzt erschreckt? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. We'll see you later. to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot... ...out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. We can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Ich bewegen. Tut mir leid, Vögel, ich muss mal durch euch durch. Ich kann gar nicht durch euch durch, Mist. Schneller! Yes. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. Won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. 
I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Uh... Was soll ich wissen, wer von denen sich um die kümmert? What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No! Kate, please stop. Listen, this isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Äh, keine Ahnung, ich bin doch nicht bibelfest. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. Lass mich raten, ich werde jetzt nachher als die Schuldige dargestellt. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. But we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh... before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. 
and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse I me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. Äh, warum sollte ich? Hallo? Miss Caulfield, why? I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video, macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps... you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Nö. Der Lehrer soll nicht dran gekriegt werden. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. 
I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max. I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say... Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Miss Caulfield, please... Nee. Dann bleib ich bei meiner ersten Aussage. <laughs> Ich kämpfe doch nicht gegen David, wenn ich gegen Goliath kämpfen kann. So. All I know is that. Oh, Mr. Ja, wir wissen ja, wie das Streitgespräch hier läuft. Scarfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Ich würde den David zwar auch gerne dran kriegen, aber ich unterschreibe. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Ich hatte nur eigentlich gehofft, dass die auch wenigstens was dazu sagt, dass der die fotografiert hat, aber nein. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof. For her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren... I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Ja, hallo und willkommen zurück. Ich habe diesen kleinen Begleitkommentar aufgenommen, um ein wenig die Stille zu überbrücken, die diese Bilder hier leider mit sich bringen, weil wir ja aus lizenzrechtlichen Gründen keine Musik abspielen bei solchen Spielen. Es ist leider, leider etwas ganz Schlimmes in der letzten Folge passiert. Und zwar ist eine Schülerin gestorben, weil sie sich selbst umgebracht hat, vom Dach runtergestürzt hat. Und wir konnten leider nichts dagegen tun. Unsere Superkräfte sozusagen, die Zeit zurückzudrehen, haben uns im Stich gelassen. Und nun sind natürlich alle entsetzt, was da passiert ist. 
obwohl man immer den Eindruck hatte, dass sich niemand wirklich so richtig um die Kate geschert hat, sind jetzt alle irgendwo auf ihre eigene Art und Weise mit dem Thema beschäftigt. Und kleiner Tipp von mir am Rande, wenn auch du mal eine ähnliche Situation erlebt hast, dann besorg dir bitte die Nummer des Sorgentelefons aus dem Internet. Wenn ich dran denke, dann werde ich das Ganze noch in die Beschreibung reinpacken und rede bitte mit den Leuten darüber. Friss es nicht in dich hinein, auch nicht die Gedanken, die du hast. Vielleicht fang an, Tagebuch zu schreiben, um das Ganze ein bisschen aufzulösen für dich innerlich und dich damit zu beschäftigen und dann endlich loslassen zu können. Aber ganz wichtig, rede mit jemandem darüber. So, die weiteren Szenen werde ich jetzt nicht weiter kommentieren. Die werde ich jetzt einfach mal so stehen lassen und auf euch wirken lassen. Vielleicht hätte ich doch lieber den David beschuldigen sollen. Ich weiß es nicht. Das Problem ist natürlich, man weiß nie, welche Wendung das Leben nehmen wird mit den Entscheidungen, die wir treffen. Und da haben wir es schon. Ich habe gedacht, es wäre besser, wenn sie zur Polizei geht. Das ist aber in dem Fall wohl nicht besser gewesen. Äh, <lacht> ich hätte versuchen sollen, ihn zu erschießen. Okay. Ich meine, ich hätte es vielleicht getan. Also wenn er uns bedroht hätte, definitiv. Aber ähm, ich hätte jetzt nicht gedacht, dass das jetzt gut gewesen wäre. Oh, es hätte eine Möglichkeit gegeben, dass ich ihr das Leben gerettet hätte. Okay, jetzt bin ich allerdings ziemlich äh, traurig, ganz ehrlich. Weil ich habe echt gedacht, es gibt keine Möglichkeit. Aber ich hatte auch keine Ahnung, wen ich wählen soll. Ich kenne weder ihre Mutter, noch ihren Vater, noch ihre Schwestern, Brüder. Anscheinend hat sie ja keine gehabt, keine Ahnung. Ähm, ja, dass ich allerdings Nathan beschuldigt habe, das war eindeutig richtig. Immerhin etwas.